Hello, everyone. My name is Lauren French, and I am the owner and designer of Motto Fashions. Motto are a women's fashion brand that focus on um, special standout pieces that can be worn every day. We are for the woman who really values bold styling, and we have six bricks and mortar stores, uh, five in Melbourne and one in Canberra, and we also have an e-commerce division. So today I just wanted to read you a little piece of my chapter that I have co-authored with an incredible bunch of women and the book is called Ignite. Um, it was a really rewarding process and so amazing and inspiring to be connected with so many other business women. So if you are in business or you're wanting to start out, I do think that this book would really inspire you. So this is something that meant a lot to me that I thought I'd share with you today. My situation was that sales were suddenly plummeting and were about to get worse. Due to a worldwide crisis, we had no cash behind us. And after making a huge stock investment for the entire season, things were going from bad to worse. The stress and the pressure I was under, along with every other business at the time, was extreme. It was the first time I ever thought I might not be able to pull through this one. But if I didn't do something to survive, my family legacy would be gone, along with 45 staff who loved their work. No pressure, no diamonds, right? So I got thinking, what if I did a live stream every day to connect with customers, show them clothes and try them on for them? Talk about fashion and trends and ultimately get to know them on a deeper level, more than any of my competitors could. Even more so, what if I did it as a mother-daughter segment? Because no one could ever copy that. Without going into detail, this one little idea completely revolutionized and transformed my business overnight. The interesting thing was that prior to this, I thought I was doing everything. I couldn't work out what more I could possibly do to grow my business. But this little gem was always there, just waiting for me to try it out. And in even better news, it was free. In my experience, the best ones always are. Looking back, I see that I could have been doing this since the first day I started my business. It was only when I was faced with this extreme situation that my mind went there and I pushed myself to force it to happen. There was no time for excuses or fears to kick in. There was no time to think about all the things that could go wrong. It just had to happen and happen immediately. So now I know I'm never doing everything. There's so much more I can be doing. So when things aren't happening how you want them to, it's only because you haven't found your little gem that you don't even know exists yet. Once you realise you're never doing everything possible, you suddenly see what you can do and you never know, you might come across your little gem on your first try. I hope you enjoyed that piece of reading and I'm really looking forward to this book being released.